Gustav Flaubert. Flaubert was one of the masters of 19th century fiction in France. He was born in Rouen and was the second son to a family of doctors. While his father was a chief surgeon at the local hospital of Rouen, his mother was the daughter of a physician. Flaubert himself, however, studied law at Paris in the 1840s, a course that was terminated by his nerve disease and a consequent failure at the law exams, which led him to devote himself fully to literature. Flaubert made his mark with his first novel, Madame Bovary, the story of an adulteress, which also included, interestingly, one doctor and one lawyer. Emma, the beautiful and romantic wife of a provincial doctor, feels trapped in the necessarily dull life of a provincial housewife and seeks release in extramarital affairs, first with a young man from the landed aristocracy and then with a lawyer, which eventually proved no less frustrating. Finally, Emma kills herself, leaving Charlotte, her husband, a wreck. Charlotte too dies soon, leaving their only daughter orphaned. The time of the plot of the novel is mid-19th century and the setting is France. The novel was first published in 1857. The novel, unconventional as it was at the time, took contemporary readers by surprise and shock and has since elicited mixed response. Criticized by some for lack of moral, the novel has also been praised by many for the author's honest treatment of his subject as well for his skill in the craft of novel writing. Flaubert is known for his psychological realism. Even in his first novel, his handling of psychological development of characters is rigorous as well as superb. Furthermore, he shows an admirable authenticity regarding realistic details of place, time and events, while maintaining a precision of style and an objective method of narration. As a writer, Flaubert aimed at nothing short of perfection. He believed in the virtue of form and wrote with an eye to the perfect word, perfect rhythm and perfect structure. One can recall his famous comment which has become a cliché almost. Books are made not like children but like pyramids and are just as useless. Flaubert practiced the objective mode of narration in which the author should remain neutral and almost spirited out of existence rather than spreading explanations, commentary or instruction over the body of the text. Madame Bovary was supposed to have been modeled on Delphine Delamay, who passed away in 1848. Some of Flaubert's other well-known works are Salombo, Le Duque Sous de Motal, The Unfinished Bouva Hepicuche. Flaubert's correspondences also offered some fine insights into the nature and craft of fiction. In the 1870s, Flaubert's work was greeted by the then new school of naturalistic writers, though Flaubert himself would have detested any label including the label of a realist. He wrote till the end. His last years were shadowed by financial problems. The novelist died of cerebral hemorrhage on 8th May 1880. Posterity has brought Flaubert the reputation of an immaculate artist.